Okay, we're in 135.3, the exercises. There are two problems. Uh, I think there's two problems. Yeah, two problems. And what we're going to do is we're going to go to the whiteboard to solve the problem. Um, and let me do that now. Get to the whiteboard. Let me write the problem down. And i got to scroll to that my screen. Just give me one moment. i got to find the problem first of all. Yep, I got it. <coughs> so it's x cubed. Let's see, plus 12x squared. I'm sorry, 12, I'm sorry, not 12x. Plus 12 equals zero. All right? So we went through the method of this one here in this section of the text. It's not easy, all right? But we got it in the proper form. And the form we want is this form over here. So, so what, what do we do? We write down what the h is. And this is sort of like a quadratic form for cubics of this form. So let's write this down. Well, first of all, let me identify the a and the b in the problem. The a in the problem is the coefficient on the linear term, which is 12, and the b in the problem is the constant term, which is also 12, all right? Then there's going to be this h. I'll write down the h for you, and then we'll go through the work. It's a cube root, and it's going to be minus the b. Well, minus the b is minus 12 over 2 plus a root, a square root act, that is, b squared. Well, b squared is 144 over 4 plus a cubed. Well, that's a little more difficult. a cubed is going to be 12 cubed. I'm just going to write it down as uh, 12 times 144 over 27, all right? Now, granted, I don't mind using cal calculators to do this, but um, um, we have to compute the number. So let's put the next one down. That's the k. And the k is minus b. Well, that's minus 12 over 2 minus, then we get this over here, 144 over 4 plus a cubed. I'm just going to write this 12 times 144 over 27. All right, so I have two numbers to compute, and I have to compute those first before I go forward. And <coughs> it's really, it doesn't seem that bad to do, but I'll write it down. It's going to be minus 6 plus well, 144 divided by 4. It's a 72, uh, 36. All right. Let me write this one over here, too. I'm, I'm getting close. Cube root minus 6 minus, and let me write this over here, 36 plus plus. Now I got to do, I got to do this 12, 144 over 27. Let me put that down, 12. Now 12 is 12, 144 is 12 times 12. So what do you get? 27 is 3 times 3 times 3. So it's going to be 4. 4, and a 4, 64, right? Well, isn't that convenient? All right, let's write this down. H is the cube root uh, minus 6, and that's square root of 100, which is 10. Whoops. So this would be a cube root of 4. All right, let's do the next one. And next one's going to be K, and that's a cube root of minus 6 minus 10, which is the cube root of minus 16. All right, then what are you going to do? Well, you can write the three roots down. And let me write them down for you now. The three roots are as follows. x1, the first root, I'll write down as just simply h plus k. What's h plus k? The cube root of 4 plus the cube root of 16. I'll simplify that later, by the way. I'm going to write x2 down. x2 will equal minus h plus k over 2 plus h minus k over 2 i root 3. All right? The next root, x3, we'll do those in a moment, is going to be minus h plus k over 2, 
minus h minus k. Whoops, that doesn't look like an h, does it? h minus k. I wish there were nicer numbers, you know? And um, what do you get there? Over 2, right? And then it's going to be i root 3. All right, time to do some computations. And certainly, I'd, I'd like to get h plus k first because it looks easy to get. Now, when I say easy to get, um, let me write it down. It's going to be what? It's going to be equal to the q root of 4 plus, oh, wait a second. I'm sorry. This is minus 16, right? I'm sorry about that. I really screwed up there, didn't I? So this can be, um, you know what, I, I probably should simplify that now. Let me get my eraser because I did make a small error, and that error is going to be corrected before I check the key, by the way. So let me erase this. And I got to do it first. I, I probably should have, you know, more careful about it. But this will be, uh, let's see, the cube root of minus 1 is minus 1. And then there's an 8 in there, so it's going to be 2 cube root of 2. So let's write this down now. And this is important I get this down because I see it all over the place. It's going to be minus 2 cube root of 2. Okay. Oh, these, look, these look tough, don't they? But I got, I got one root. I put a box on it. This is one root to the problem. We'll check it with the key later. I'm going to put x2 down. Equals, I don't know if I want to simplify this, though. Well, I've already done h plus k, right? So it's root 3 over 4 minus 2. When I say root, I meant cube root. Cube root of 2 over 2. Let's write this down. Plus 2 cube root of 4 plus the cube root. I'm sorry, 2 cube root of 2. We'll look at the key later. And this will be um, i root 3. Their multiplications. We're going to put a box on this. Nasty looking number. And let's put down x3. What's that going to be? Well, minus, let's put this down, cube root of 4, minus 2 cube root of 2 over 2. Then we have minus. You should note that the complex roots are occurring in conjugate pair. This is true for real coefficient polynomials. All right, time to get my uh, little red pen out. And let's hope I didn't make any errors. Go wake my computer up and look at the answer key. Was I able to get the first root? Let's see, cube root of 4 minus 2 cube root of 2. The second root. Well, they, they simplified a little bit, but it's still equivalent. So I'm still seeing that answer there. I'm still seeing this. But they did simplify it a little tiny bit. And then they put this down. Just going to make sure of that. I do see that. I see that. Didn't do much beyond that, by the way. And do I see this? <coughs> Let me take a look. And they simplified a little tiny bit. Not substantially. They got this written down. Let me just make sure of that. A eh, little twisting around of it, but it's still the same thing. Yeah, so we got all three. Now, I, I want to tell you the reason this is no longer taught, it's really tough to get through, all right? And by the way, it's working on this over here. If we don't have this form, we got to get it in that form, all right? And that took some time and effort, as you may recall, all right? We've done uh, plenty of examples in this section where we had to get it into that form over there. Once we get in this form, though, we pretty much are good to go, all right? If you can, if you can remember the formula, that is. All right, thank you.